Righto guys, it's you and me today. We've got a big episode ahead. Trip to the thrift, Thursday morning. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking on this video first and foremost. I really, truly can't thank you guys enough for tuning in every single week. You're just always there and I can't thank you enough for that. Uh, no different to any other week, guys. We've got four op shops to get stuck into. Every single item that I buy today, I'm gonna show you exactly what it goes on to sell for on eBay. And fingers crossed, I can actually find some really cool stuff to sell. So we're gonna do that right now. The first off shop is right here. It's a bit of an average day today with the weather, but uh, I'm feeling pretty upbeat about things. Looking forward to diving into the first one, guys. We'll see you in there. As you're about to see, guys, this was an incredible op shop run. We've got the Nickelback Feed the Machine 2019 Tour T. Couldn't say no to that one. Some Game of Thrones, $4. I've picked this one up as well. I've also found the Blues Brothers as well. Some official merchandise. This one's a 2XL for four bucks. I'm gonna be taking that one. I love my Brizzy Lions stuff as well, guys. I've been able to find the training t-shirt, long sleeve. That one had a $6 tag on it. And have a look at this. The New York Knicks windbreaker jacket with the majestic tag. This one is a size large and I've paid the full 10 bucks for it. I think I'm gonna be able to flip that into about 60. Um, found some really good stock standard Stockyard RM Williams pants. They're gonna be coming back home with me. Should make a good, I don't know, 50 bucks on those. And then these really interest me. I'm really a big fan of anything Red Bull. I found this Holden Red Bull racing um, pair of pants. There were actually two of them, brand new with tags. So I picked those up. The shoes did really well on those. ASICS GT 2150s. I've paid $9 there. The soles, they're not too bad. So I've picked those up. Some Converse All-Stars with the American flag. $12 for these, but I, I did end up going for them. I think they'll be able to sell pretty well. And then I also found the uh, Brooks Adrenaline 21 as well. These are a very good pair of running shoes. There was a little bit of wear on the sole, but I've only paid $5 for these. And then the Columbia hiking boots, the Omnitech Columbia hiking boots. I've picked these ones up as well, guys. They go on to sell for a good 45 to 50 pretty easily. Uh, the books also did well. Like I said, guys, this was an incredible run. This set of uh, books, the John Marsden series, goes for $90 on eBay. So all in all, guys, I've actually bought 24 items and spent $120. Oh my, I can't even hold it up. I cannot even hold it up. There is that much stuff here. This has been one of the wildest first stops of the day, you'll see. I don't think I can even show you all the stuff that I've got. Have a look. I'm feeling pretty good, guys. Let's get on to op shop run number two. All right, guys, a second off shop of the day, all wrapped up. I bought these Puma women's running shoes. They're a US size seven. They are in excellent condition. It's a white or more of a creamy white and black. Um, really cool pair of shoes. Puma sells okay for me. It's definitely not my best seller, but I don't mind the Puma shoes and I just like the look of these, so I bought it. Half the time I buy just buying stuff that I like. Um, I thought this was really cool as well. Again, just on a complete whim, didn't do any comp searches. I just thought that this racing tee was really nice. The Clipsal 500 uh, in Adelaide, Adelaide Clipsal 500. So heavily embroidered t-shirt. This one's a size medium, a um, bit of vintageness about this one. Thought I'd just grab it. Uh, might turn that one into 30 bucks. You just never know. And then uh, this one as well, the Gold Coast Titans hoodie. 
uh, fully embroidered and got all the right sponsorships to tell me that that is a genuine, genuine hoodie. Uh, it's basically like new guys and uh, you would have seen it in the edit there. It's, uh, it's a ripping jumper. Uh, it is a size medium. I bought it for 12 bucks, I think, on memory, something like that. Uh, and they were the only three items that I bought in that little run there, guys. So uh, we're up to a total of 27 items purchased for the day. Uh, a bit of a spend of about 130, 140-odd dollars. And um, as you can see behind me, there's an op shop. This is a brand new Gold Coast op shop. I've never been in there. It only opened up on Tuesday. And we're going to dive into this one right now. And hopefully, we're going to find some cool stuff. What a horrible decision that was. It was a terrible op shop, guys, and we're moving on to something that is a little bit more familiar. We're back into the Lifeline shop that I all know too well. I've been able to find some really cool items in here before, so fingers crossed we can find some high-end fashion. The first one that I've been able to find is this Nike polo shirt. This was $8, and I've ended up picking it up, guys. I reckon I can push this for $29.99 on eBay. A very crispy piece. I've also found this Honda racing jacket as well. This is a size medium, and $8 dollar purchase. I put it up on my Instagram and everybody unanimously said you have to be buying that for $8. So I did. I also found this Slazenger, um, vintage Slazenger uh, quarter zip jacket. I thought this was really quite nice. Uh, a really cool little jumper there. A few years old, no doubt about it. But for $15, I ended up saying no to it. Had a good look through the jeans and the shorts, as I always do, guys. I did see these Villains of Virtue uh, pants or jeans, and I have bought them a, a few times in the past. I thought it was a good brand, but it is yet to sell for me. Uh, this Giorgio Armani as well, I, I thought I, I'm denied about this at $35. I, I sort of inspected it and actually do believe it's a real Giorgio Armani jacket. So maybe I should have bought that. Let me know in the comments if you would have. Uh, and also, too, some really cool graphic print tees. Oh, I almost grabbed this, but the size was almost like a kid's large. The Oz Rock Clothing Co. tag on it. What a cool print that is. But in the end, I did say no to it. Uh, the Vans as well. This is a really sick back print on the Vans tee. Killing time since 66. What a really sick back print on that one. Uh, even a little front print, too. So for $8, guys, I'm just not making any money on that. Um, also dove into the DVDs as well, guys. Now, I bought 500 DVDs on Tuesday. I do not need to be looking through all of these right now, but here we are. Um, had a bit of a dig, managed to find a couple of DVDs that were of some worth, and the first one was this Saint DVD. It goes for about $20, Val Kilmer. Um, so in the end, I, I thought I'd grab that. And then the Iron Giant as well. This was just a dollar, so it turns into $20 on eBay. Again, I can't be saying no. And then there were two others as well. The Eastbound and Down Season 1 and 2 goes for about 20 bucks, but I did end up passing on it. I just don't need to be buying any extra DVDs. But this PC game as well caught my eye. Unfortunately, it didn't comp too heavy on eBay, Vampireville. So guys, just the three items ended up being purchased in that run. Let's get off to op shop number four. What a way to end the day, guys. I've been able to come away with the Nike Total 93 Men's Footy Boots, US size 12, the chrome colorway. Guys, these are a pair of 2004 footy boots. If they were in brand new condition, they'd be worth $360 on today's market. In pre-owned condition, they're worth $150. These are in excellent condition. They're a US size 12, and I do think I'll be able to get the full $150 for them. So what an absolute finish for the last op shop run of the day. I had a good look around. Couldn't really find a hell of a lot of stuff. Really happy with the footy boots, so I did just leave it there with that one item. But I will take you through a couple of items that I've got here that I also picked up in the first op shop run of the day. It was such a huge run. So many items purchased that I don't believe I'll get it into the edit. So I will just quickly show you them now. Um, we've got the Levi Strauss Women's Crop Top. Now, now, this is a size extra small. I don't buy a lot of women's wear, but with winter, obviously the long sleeve, uh, I figured this one would be a really nice one for somebody out there. So any girls watching this one, hit me up on the Instagram page. We'll give this one to you for a very, very cheap price. Uh, I also found the Gantt Sport uh, windbreaker jacket as well in a size small. 
Very much a plain essential, guys. There's nothing too fancy about it. But I did buy it because it said Gant USA Sport. And Gant is a very, very good brand. Uh, and then the last one as well, just another women's full zip Adidas three-stripe jacket, plain black, a really nice piece. I've only paid $5 for it. I couldn't really walk away from that one either. So uh, three really cheap buys there for $5 a piece. And the footy boots, the total 93s. What an absolute grab. I love my footy boots. There is so much money to be made in that category, no doubt about it. Guys, we are done. I'm back home. It's been a miserable day. The weather is absolutely terrible, as you can see out there. But that has not stopped us finding some absolute heat in the thrift. I can't wait to get back upstairs, list it all into the system, and hopefully we can get some sales out of it really quickly. Uh, guys, I will be putting a few of these items up onto the website, thehouseofmumba.com.au. I have been a little bit slack on that slide lately, but I will be getting back on track and listing a few items up there, and they will be discounted per what they are on my eBay page. So thank you very much for the support. Go and check that one out. Links are in the description below. Uh, we're done, guys. Thanks very much. I've had a whole lot of fun, a whole heap of cool items found. That Nike uh, New York Knicks windbreaker jacket, that was pretty sick. And uh, and obviously the total 90 footy boots as well. Probably the picks of the day. But uh, appreciate you tuning in, guys. If you're still here watching now, I truly can't thank you enough. I do appreciate all the support on this channel. And uh, until next week's trip to the thrift, we'll see you soon.